Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Miguel and in this video I want to start with a short presentation about the if statement. In the end of this presentation we will continue our last project, the time application. Because I would like to also be able to measure minutes and therefore we need the if statement. So, the if statement is used to execute a statement if a specific condition is true. For instance, if the coffee is empty, we would like to refill the coffee. And therefore, we start with the if keyword in condition. And if the condition is true, so if the coffee is empty, we will execute the then block. So, we will execute the if statement. So in this case, we will refill the coffee. But you could also do something if the condition is false. And in this example, we will refill the coffee can if it's empty. But if it's not empty, I would like to drink it. This statement is only executed if the condition is true. And the else statement is only executed if the condition is not true. So if the coffee can is not empty. And you have to keep in mind that if you're using else, you have to remove the semicolon and put it at the end of the statement. So that's a really important fact. But you could also execute more than one statement. For instance, you could, um, I would like to refill the coffee can, but also drink it. And if you want to execute more than one statement, you have to create a begin end block. But that's also really simple. And again, you could also do some, something if the coffee can is not empty. And therefore, I would like to drink the coffee again. But keep in mind that you have to put the semicolon at the right position. That's really important. And in the end of this short presentation, I also would like I would also like to give you a more complex example. Um, first of all, this statement consists of two conditions. So if the coffee can is not empty and my coffee level is smaller than 50, I would like to drink the coffee. And if you would if you like to use more than one condition, you have to put the conditions in round brackets. Moreover, you have to connect these conditions using and or 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 even x or. And in this case, my then statement will be executed if both conditions are true because I have chosen the and operator. Another interesting thing is um, not. So let's say our coffee is empty, then this condition coffee point empty will be true, but not true equals false. So not will turn the result or the Boolean value around. So if the coffee is not empty, and here I'm using smaller than 50. I think this is, um, these are the most important information. And now I would like to complete our time application. So let's get started. First of all, we need to open our last project. And if you don't have the project, you could redo my tutorial number five, or you could simply go to my website and on this website, you can find the video itself, some information, but also the download file of my project. So if you don't have the project, you could simply download it. But I have my project, so I don't need to do this step. So let's start Lazarus and open the project. And I will start with a declaration. Actually with a declaration of a new integer counter called minutes. And minutes has the data type integer and should be initialized with zero. What else do we need? We could 
um, start with some simple stuff. So we could go into the clear button and in the clear button, we also want to set minutes to zero. We could also adjust our label display to into string, into string um, minutes plus in colon and plus our seconds counter. And we could also do this right here. I'm sorry, like this. And now we need to increase our minutes counter. And therefore we have to go into the timer. So into timer one timer. And in this procedure, we are increasing our counter variable. And now we would like to check whether counter equals 60. And if it's 60, we would like to increase our minute counter and reset the seconds counter to zero. So basically we are asking if counter equals 60, then we would like to increase minutes. So minutes colon um, or is defined as minutes plus one and counter is defined as zero. So let's start this application and take a look whether it works. But actually, I don't want to waste your time with a minute. So I would like to go into the timer and set the interval to 100. And this will increase the speed. And now we can see that this works, but we also need to display it like we did in the clear button. Actually not like in the clear button, like, like this. So again, we could simply write down into string, first of all, the minutes counter plus the colon plus into string the counter. And that's all we need. And actually, this was a really simple task. Our timer is working. We could reset the interval to use seconds instead, so that it's running in real time. And I think in the next video, I want to show you um, a kind of more professional solution, how to redo this task using modulo and integer division without any counter or minutes counter and without an if statement. That's also possible. And I would like to show you how. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. Um, I ho also hope that my theory introduction was not too boring, but it's really important to know how things work. And yeah, I would like to get some feedback you can also find this project on my website and I hope that we will see us in the next video. Bye.